Hello, my name's Steve Smith and I'm a PBS practitioner for Salutum. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about PBS, what it is and how it works. So PBS stands for Positive Behavioural Support. It's not a new approach, it's been around for a good 30 years. So to understand what PBS is, first of all we need to understand what the previous approach was that we used to use, um, certainly up until the 80s and 90s. So the main model that we used to use prior to PBS, certainly until the mid 90s, was punishment based models and that was very typically used in learning disability care and the large institutions. So although there's uh, certain evidence to suggest that punishment based models weaken behaviour, they are by no means compatible with the values of PBS. So we do not use punishment based models, thank goodness we've left those long uh, behind long ago. So let's look at what PBS is and how it works then. So PBS is a very practical and effective way of supporting people who display behaviours which challenge services. But let's look at a typical example then. We've got a chap called John and John shouts and screams in the lounge and staff come running into him to see what he wants. So through the process of functional assessment, which is um, how we examine the functions of behaviour and what is the person seeking for the behaviour, we've ascertained that John is asking for coffee. So all behaviour is done for a reason and, and challenging behaviour is no different. So we know that John is shouting for coffee. So what we can now do is try to change the environment so John doesn't have to shout and scream for his coffee. Because we know with PBS that changing people is very tricky. It's much more uh, easier and more ethical to change the environment around the person. So some typical strategies that we might use for this would be perhaps um, making coffee more freely available for John so he doesn't have to use his behaviours to obtain the coffee because he knows he's going to get it. And also we can skill teach with John so we can teach him how to make coffee for example. So by doing this we actually replace the challenging behaviour. So logically I, I can't take John's challenging behaviour away unless I replace it with something of an equal value. So PBS um, initially evolved from three very distinct uh, approaches, all of which is an approach in its own right. So the first approach is values. So PBS works with a solid value base. So why are we doing it? Are we doing it for the right reasons? The other uh, second part to this is about person-centered approaches. So we use specific approaches that work for the person. And this is underpinned by something which we call Applied Behavioral Analysis, or ABA for short. So this is what gives PBS its credibility. So ABA is the science of behaviour change. And you need to use all three approaches for it to be classed as 